I began, though, you know, talking about my own story. I began working on Wall Street as a research analyst at E.F. Hutton. That was back in 1985. And, well, the three decades that have passed since have seen profound change in the way the markets work, at least on a short-term basis. Long-term, the cream typically rises to the top, but on any given day, anything can move markets, including misleading headlines or tweets. Now, the problem is a part of the greater issue of short-termism overall but also the fact that Wall Street well, seems to kind of revel in these wild gyrations, which makes big banks a lot of money. But it scares the heck out of individual investors that really grew up believing that you buy and, and, and you hold on to these great stocks based on fundamentals. And each day shouldn't be a day at the races. In fact, I'm reminded of the angst that investors are going through these days and why Wall Street's nonchalant approach or reluctance to admit something is wrong is making things even worse for mom and pa investor. In fact, here's part of a letter I got from Albert J. Now that we worked and saved and now, and, and now we have reached that goal, these money changers play with our investments and make it hard to plan what's next. Your guests sit there and talk about it, a, 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 about a small dip or, or a time to watch for values, but for us, it's our income. I know there's nothing you can do but... If you could let your guests know and understand that these numbers they speak about are, in fact, people's lives and incomes. I want to bring in Jim Maywatt, Senior Managing Director at Clear State Advisors. Jim, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of truth to this letter. Yes, uh, we, we live in an ecosystem in the money management industry and in the financial television industry in that we have to watch what's going on every day. Money managers uh, have to report asset values to clients at the end of every month. And uh, financial television has to uh, make, make each day interesting for the viewers. So we have to pay attention to what's going on in the short term and we have to talk about it. But that doesn't mean that we have to act uh, 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 each day based on what's happening. And in fact, the money manager should be thinking long term, realize they're re managing people's money, uh, stick to the asset allocation and not be influenced by what's going on in the short term. And what I would say to your client is uh, to the people who read the letter is if you're with a tr tried and true money manager or money management firm, they are not reacting to what's going on every day. The computers are reacting to what's going on every day. But if there's a person actually managing your money and you know that person right. and that person's been around, they're thinking long term. You know, you talk about reporting. So it's, uh, it's not it's not as bad. I'm sorry, go on. No, Jim, you talk about reporting to, uh, to investors on a monthly basis. We have quarterly earnings reports, and, and a company can miss by a penny, yeah. and a stock can lose 20, 30 percent of its value just like that. To me, it seems it's impossible to run any kind of business with a long-term vision where you have to deal with those every 90 days, uh, the company completely turning upside down. And it's, it's equally right. hard to me, if you're investing long-term, to have to be able to navigate the nuances of a market where uh, a headline could send the algorithms crazy. Isn't, isn't it short-termism, though? Right. Isn't it terrifying for the individual investor who, by the way, has stayed away from the market for, for, the, for the most part? Right. Yes, it is terrifying. And I will tell you, it's even trying for those of us who've been around for a long time. December was certainly uh, a trying month. But what you're talking about is there's been a change in the structure of the markets. It's no longer specialists on the floor providing capital uh, or, or, or Goldman Sachs or the big firms providing capital for people to trade. Uh, it, the markets have become very illiquid. And, and then you add in the, this algorithmic trading and, and, and they've become more volatile, volatile than any of us have experienced. Yeah. But sit back for a minute and think, Charles, it's an opportunity. When they're killing them is when you want to think straight and be a buyer. And when things are melting up yeah. and, and going beyond true value, then maybe you want to let go a little bit. So in a tactical sense, it presents opportunity if you control your emotions. Right. But the important thing is to remember that they are people and we, we must think long term in terms of managing their money and, and buy and, and sell and, and, decisions. And I don't disagree, Jim, but sometimes when it's gone down and it's creating opportunities that I try to see on you try to seize on I think what the writer was saying is that going down represents somebody who's selling their future dreams because they can't take it anymore and maybe just from our point of view at least from my point of view we could be a little less breathless about it Jim I appreciate you taking the time and yep. looks like you're having a great time wherever you are so we'll see you in the studio soon